Today's video is titled, But Why? Because I want to know why these bags are trending, why people love them, and why fashion houses decided to move the direction of some of these new designs. Now, again, disclaimer, these are all just my personal opinions, so please nobody get offended. I just simply wanted to kind of chit chat through here with you guys and get your opinions on some of these but why bags. Before we get started, I love handbags, I love luxury, I love fashion, accessories, anything and everything that kind of speaks to me. I assume if you guys clicked on this video, you probably love those things as well. And if you do, please consider subscribing to my little YouTube family and press that little bell button below and let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with the first bag in mind. And this bag in particular is a bag that although I do have a but why attached to this bag, I also to some degree understand it. And I also to some degree like the bag. So again, you never know. People change their opinions. I might even get this bag one day, but I'm talking specifically about the Chanel 22. So popping it up right over here. And you guys, I'm sure know all about the Chanel 22. It's been around for a while. Many of us have it. Many of us love it. And to be honest, like when I first saw it, I just thought it's like a sack of potato bag. And but the more videos I watch on it, I, I understand the appeal, right? Like it seems like it's a pretty like fuss free bag. It's like one big bag that you can just put a lot of things in. It kind of molds to your body. It has a chain, it cinches up, but still out of all the designs you could do, I'm just surprised that Chanel came out with this style bag. Um, again, like it looks great on so many people. So I've have grown more, um, you know, I, my mind has changed a little bit on this bag, but I still want to like chat about it. Um, I seen so many, so many issues with this bag when it comes to the metallic versions or colored versions, because, you know, obviously to get it in the bag, I, there's like a button, I believe, and it scrunches in and out. But as you, you know, use the bag and you pull the bag and you squish the bag, um, I think what happens is you're straining the coating on the bag, on the leather. So there is a lot of cracking around the rim area of the bag. Now, I think for most of us, if you're spending 5,000 something dollars plus, you would care if the bag has cracking. And it obviously would kind of put us off because if a bag has issues like that, you probably just want to use it less because you don't want to make the bag worse. Um, so I don't know, like I, for that reason itself, I probably will never get the bag because you guys know me, like I just don't want to deal with that kind of thing. And I just don't need more headache in my life. So when it comes to that, I'm going to buy something that I know I can use without like worrying about if I need to get it fixed or bring it back and all of that stuff. So I'm just curious, what do you guys think about the Chanel 22? It's kind of like the whole Chanel 19 thing. I know many of us didn't like it. I wasn't actually a huge fan when I initially first saw it, but now I own the bag, love the bag. So again, I think it's just something that grows on you. And when I talked to um, my Chanel essay, he had said that Chanel 22 is actually a bag that is in their classic collection now. So it's always going to be here. I'm not sure about color wise. I think they have seasonal colors just like they do in most of their bags, but it is a bag that is here to stay as far as we know. So if you guys are still deciding on it and not sure about it, you never know because we may not love it today, but we might love it tomorrow. So that's the first bag. Second bag I wanted to talk about on the list was a couple of Balenciaga bags. Now, I believe the first bag is called a Balenciaga trash pouch. Oh my gosh, correct me if I'm wrong, throw it up here. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the name of it. I, like I said, it could be wrong, but on the internet, that's what they're calling it, the trash pouch. And it actually looks like a trash pouch. I... I I mean, we all know, I had never seen it before. I never felt it. I don't even know if it's actually released yet, but either way, I'm sure the material and the, the leather, if it's leather or whatever they're using is a lot nicer, but I mean, just grab a Glad's bag. You know what I mean? Like that's free. That's probably get the Costco size for $9.99, put yourself in it. I use those when I actually move, right? Because 
when I'm moving things, and I want to carry a lot of stuff. I throw all my clothes in there, throw it in my car. I mean, it's actually a great transportation bag. But would I spend $2,000, $3,000 on a bag that looks like a trash bag? Mm, no, thank you. Because I don't know. Like, as much as I love edgy things, as much as I love things that are quirky, I just don't know how I feel about something that looks like the garbage bag I use in my kitchen. <laughs> but you guys, again, let me know what you think. Another Balenciaga bag I want to talk about, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's online at least, it's called the Ikea bag here. And it's because it looks like the Ikea bag. This one I think retails for about $2,400. And again, like, and I know actually Ikea bags in some areas are actually very on trend. I've seen people like in Japan carry them around and I think they sell it as like more of a fashion statement. Whereas like, I think here, People use it for groceries and obviously taking stuff that you buy at Ikea home. Um, but I think it's like a fashion statement um, to some degree. So I get like the Ikea bag way more than I get the garbage pouch bag look. But still, like would I spend $2,400 on a bag that looks just like Ikea? And to be honest, Ikea bag is pretty sturdy and it actually can hold so much so honestly if you want that look head to your local ikea grab one of those and you can probably get a little crafty and cut that bag up and then actually make a quote-unquote handbag out of it versus spending that twenty four hundred dollars the next bag on the list is the bottega veneta mop bag they have the crossbody version i think they have like a Jody version, I want to say. I don't quote me on that. I'll drop it over here. But when I first saw this bag, I thought I actually laughed out loud because I, I just didn't understand it. I did not understand it. And I get it's quirky. I get it's cute. And I probably would consider it's not the fact that I wouldn't use it per se, because if it were 50, a hundred dollars, maybe, but when you're looking at designer prices at $2,400, is it worth and I don't know how much that is. Actually, I'll throw it up here. But is it worth the designer price? Because there's so many other things to get and spend our money on. I just don't know if it's worth it. And the material on it, at the end of the day, it still feels like a mop. So you're not getting leather. You're not, I don't know what you're getting. I just, I maybe it's a craftsmanship, the art. If you look at it from an art Point of view maybe that's what it is if you're looking for a statement piece maybe or you just have a lot of money you want to have a collection of quirky bags and you do you and I think that's great and again no offense to anyone because we all have our taste but my opinion is but why <laughs> And I don't know, that's just my two cents. And so I get it. I actually do think it's like a really cute, quirky bag. I wouldn't say I wouldn't use it. I just don't think it's worth the designer prices for something that looks like this. So you guys always comment below and let me know because I could be totally off. Okay, so the next bag or bags I want to talk about maybe a little bit more on the debatable side and it is the Louis Vuitton floral collection that just released when I first saw this and this is not a surprise to anyone because if you look it up or if you are you know following a lot of handbag youtubers or just handbag accounts on Instagram you'll see that a lot of people refer to this collection as the grandma collection where where it almost looks like your grandma's couch or curtains and whatnot and no offense to my grandma or anybody else because honestly like my grandma has some great taste and she has some great pieces in her house so again like no disrespect to anyone but you know you get that vibe right the like flowery floral like cottagey vibe and for me, I, I do like florals. I just don't like them necessarily to wear. Like I'm not a big fan of flowers on my clothing. Maybe minimally it's okay. And I don't really love them on bags. I think it looks great on a lot of people. I just don't think it fits my style per se. But I do have to admit, Foxy LV released some 
photos of it. And also I think I saw some other like people doing reels and things. And when I saw it, I never seen it in person, but when I saw actual like photos and videos of it, I see like how people will like it because it actually looks so much better. Like the, the paint or however they design the bags looks pretty luxe. And the gold is much prettier and much richer than what it looked like when I initially saw it, like as a screenshot. So I don't want to pass judgment because I've never seen it in person. But what I've seen though, it is a lot nicer than what I think. So if you like florals and if you like that like vibe, I think you guys will love this collection. But when I first saw this collection, I did ask myself, but why LV? I just don't understand. I just don't really get it. But again, like I said, it makes sense, right? Like it's different, it's a little quirky. You're taking like the classic pieces, like on the go, the speedy, the never full, and you're adding like a more like colorful tone. I think they did this with another collab. I think it was like, I don't know, years ago, right? Maybe a decade ago, this one over here. And it did really well. And actually when this first release, I wanted the never full of it. I wanted something that wasn't so basic, that had a little bit of like quirkiness. I thought this was so cute. I never picked it up though, but it, I still think it's really cute. So I think this is like the upgraded refresh version of that. So I do think the floral collection, if you are a person that loves flowers and florals, things like that, you will love this collection. I don't know if I would actually pick that up, but I want to throw it on the list because that was just like my initial impression of it. Last bag on my list. Now this bag actually to me is really cute. I actually do like it and I would so use it and I would bring it everywhere with me. I just don't think it's worth the price. It's the Prada mesh tote right over here. Now, at the end of the day, it's just a mesh tote. Marc Jacobs actually released um, their Marc Jacobs tote in the mesh over here. I actually wanted to pick it up because I wanted to use it for the beach. I wanted to use it for like the weekends, outings and things like that. I never actually did because I did pick up my um, mini version over here. Plus, I just have so many tote bags recently um, that I use when I'm traveling and whatnot. I just felt like I didn't need it at the moment. Um, but I do think it's really cute. Now the Prada mesh tote does have like a little zipper pocket inside. This one I believe retails around 23 to 2,500. I think it depends on the size. Whereas the Marc Jacob one retails for I think three to 450. So I personally would pick the Marc Jacobs one. Um, it's kind of like the same idea as the Raffia Prada. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, I like love that bag every time i see it on instagram every time i see it on the streets i'm like i think that bag just looks so good because you can wear it with any outfit and it's like just something about it is just so like good but do i want to actually spend over two thousand dollars and i think actually that one's lower i want to say that one is like maybe like 17 to 2000 but with tax and everything you're looking at an average of two two grand um do i want to spend that on a graffia bag right because it's a raffia bag i mean I, I guess that's all i have to say but it is a gorgeous bag and like i said if i wasn't you know if i didn't have to think about like budgeting and like where i spend my money I, yeah i would get it it's so cute but um same thing with the mesh bag i just for the material i don't think it's worth it but nonetheless great bags makes any outfit look good you guys let me know what you think because such a good one i just wish it wasn't like so high in price you know but yeah that's just a, my short list of some but why bags and i want to know like do you guys agree with me do you ask yourself like why did why did these bags get designed do you guys love them do you hate them do they grow on you maybe do you have some i would love to know because i always appreciate all your feedback because i love chatting about bags so again like i always say if you guys want to dm me you want to chat through some of the stuff on the list feel free to and again this is just a fun video like i mean no disrespect to anyone and this is obviously just my opinion and my opinion changes daily too so i may love it hate it one day and then love it, hate it the next day. You never know, right? It happens with bags I have too. So I just thought it'd be fun to kind of share these with you and do something different. So if you guys like this type of video, please consider liking this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.